Hello everyone, it's good to see you all back. Who here would like to see an all hacky build in the near future? Since their weapons work out really well with stasis, and it's also nice to focus on a more fun build every now and then. Of course, comment below if you'd like to see this happen. Anyways, our main build today is another Rhymeco Rhymant build, but this time we'll be showing you an even faster turret cooldown build that is more impressive than Ossimanti Gloves. It will be packed with increased weapon damage, non stop free slash slow, increased melee cooldown, faster grenade cooldown, and tons of frost armor to play in. It's so easy, I'd be surprised to not see you guys use it. So, starting with the general aim and the got to build. Our aim is to showcase Rhyme Current Rhymant with increased grenade regen and show how impactful it can be with selected fragments. For this, we'll be using Rhyme Current Rhymant and Winter's Bite. Let's start with our exotic armor, Rhyme Current Rhymant, with his exotic effect, Bleak Domain. It states Your Bleak Watcher turrets are enhanced with extended range and are surrounded by stasis crystals and a storm. While standing in the storm, you are granted icicles over time. Icicles activate when you fire your weapon, apply and slow the targets they hit. Within the build usage this time, we'll be focusing heavily on the grenade cooldown, proceed for activating your turret much faster than normal. Oddly enough, this can be achieved through just one fragment, but on top of that, we'll also focus our remaining efforts to make slow and freeze even more oppressive than before. The setup will be easy to manage, but will require us to use a seasonal mold or two as well. Our second exotic is Winter's Bite, with his exotic effect, Big Frigid Glaive, which states, a fires a large ball of energy that locks onto nearby targets and freezes them. While we won't be using the MIDI, since this is too risky to use in GMs, we will be making full use of these stasis projectiles being used along with our turrets. This here is actually really good when paired with Brain Freeze using the mod, as it will instantly freeze targets and trigger this effect quite easily. At the same time, its damage is also not bad to use, with one direct hit against Champion taking a large chunk of his health out. I highly advise you add these stasis holster mod, as heavy ammo is limited when using this, and you generally don't want to be spamming it with no good reasons to it. For aspects and fragments, we have the following a Glacial Harvest, where freezing targets create stasis shards around the frozen target, a picking up shards will grant you frost armor and mini energy back, a Bleak Watcher, where holding your grenade will convert your grenade into a stasis turret once thrown, a Whispers of Durance, where your slow ability that you apply to targets is extended. Whispers of Fissures, which will increase the damage and size of the Burst of Stasis when you destroy a Stasis Crystal or frozen target. Whispers of Shards, where shattering a Stasis Crystal will net you grenade increased recharge rate for a few seconds. And Whispers of Rendering, where primary weapons do increase damage to Stasis Crystals and frozen enemies. The build is similar to the last one we did using Rhyme Coat, except for two changes made. Now, having Durance and Fissures are both a must considering how much frozen enemies will be within our vicinity. Our primary and heavy weapons both have the ability to freeze and slow targets, and applying these two in the build is generally a no brainer. Talking about no brainer, having the Brain Freeze Seasonal mod is also helpful for our turrets considering that they're focused on one target at a time. With this mod, it will produce an encapsulating orb around the target that will also slow anyone else who is not near its effect. Now, a further combine this with a weapon that has Headstone and the Held Storm mod, and you can turn each target into a snowman if you wish. Now, when it comes down to using shards and rending, it's quite obvious as to what we are after. A rending is increasing our primary weapon damage against frozen objects by 100%, so using this with a hacky weapon not only allows our shots to be stronger, but it also one shot glaciers. The shards, on the other hand, will be used to maintain how often we can use our turrets on the field. With how generous the amount of energy we are given back, we can spam our turrets one after another as long as we are destroying the glaciers being produced. With our primary weapon having headstone and our turrets being able to do this on the fly, it should be sweet sailing from here onwards. For the mods and stats, we have both resilience and discipline marked with the highest priorities for the build. The strength is also being used with priority and will have further usage via the station shard to collect it. Resilience with ours at tier 10 for 30% damage reduction. I have added the Solar Resistance mod for the 15% damage reduction against solar attacks, but this will vary depending on what enemies I face. Outside of that, I do have the Frost Armor in hand, which will be constantly produced from our subclass and seasonal mods. A discipline with ours like tier 10 for 1 minute 1 second cooldown via dust field grenades. Not much is needed here, since any grenade you pick will be locked to the given cooldown rate and turret's usage. 
While this is fine, we can easily reduce its cooldown further by applying Whispers or Shards for the 500% grenade cooldown. This within our build is easy to add on to, since Rhyme Coat effects will produce glaciers for us to trigger as a unique effect. You can also go with the Whispers of Torment, which will grant us a 7% grenade regen and a 12% when Frost Armor is active, so you do have options. Now, since grenade cooldown isn't a huge issue, you can invest into other areas like shown. Impact induction times 2 for a 17% grenade buff, or momentum transfer if you like, and distribution times 1 for a 3% all ability buff will cover the key areas for the build. That's all you need. Additional mods we then have following Harmonic Siphon for creating auto power via magic element of type, Heavy Ammo Finder, Reserves and Scavenger mods for a heavy weapon, Hands on for getting super energy on powered melee kills, Charged up for a plus 1 in armor charge. A stasis holster, where stowing your weapons will automatically reload them. A stasis weapon surge for a 10% weapon buff. And powerful attraction for automatically collecting all power when using your class ability. As we have covered our exotic heavy weapon, I would then advise you to pick some super weapons for the build. What I recommend are all optional, so do please keep this in mind. Our primary weapon is the Perseus Steep with Shoot Loot and Headstone. Mixing things up, instead of using Life Fire with his God Roll, a Perseus D is a good alternative for those who want a simple and straight to the point weapon. But firstly, this is a high impact frame weapon, which means it's going to be doing a lot more damage via precision damage compared to others. But secondly, having Headstone on this weapon will benefit us with the grenade regen, thanks to Whispers of Shard's effect. However, there's also his weapon origin trait that allows hacky based weapons to do more damage against status glaciers which is a big bonus for this build. With this trait, instead of taking 3 to 4 shots to break a single glacier, it will now take just one shot to break them instead, thus saving us the time and ammo when dealing with enemies. We have also added the Whisper of Ending fragment for increased damage against crystal and frozen enemies, so overall this weapon is going to be hitting super hard the moment we get the ball rolling for it. At secondary, we have the VS Velocity Baton with Demolitionist and High Ground. A Gotham from Vesper Host Dungeon, the following is quite good when paired with the following build, as it can garner grenade energy, which we will need, and apply more damage just from higher elevation, and also apply debuff via Concussive Reload. With status in play, this will work wonders on the Ultras and mini bosses we face, as freezing enemies and then applying this continuous dot effect is both easy and efficient when dealing with tons of enemies all at once. So while we have covered quite a bit of Rhyme Code builds as of lately, I feel like there's still quite a few builds available that not everyone has touched just of yet, this being one of them. Now the idea of having a large amount of turrets on the field isn't new in any way or form, since we have seen this played out before with Osiwansi Gloves, Variety's Brow, Apotheus Veil, vale, etc. But this time round is being more different with Rhyme Coat. With Rhyme Coat, not only are your turrets more stronger while on the field, but they are also applying an additional benefit that can easily speed up grenade regen with little effort. Those glaciers it provides when combining into Whispers of Shards is going to increase your regen by 500% for 6 seconds, which can be refreshed with a headstone weapon or just a turret itself. By the time your turret produces a second batch of glaciers, you should be able to throw enough one into the mix and so forth. To keep the pressure going, we can apply Winter's Bite projectiles to freeze rooms and then use Brain Freeze Seasonal Mod to encapsulate anyone that might get away. This will ultimately freeze everything in seconds and shattering the targets will gun the shards for false armor and melee energy. This is all achieved from what we have, but ultimately it shows how amazing Stasis feels as of now. It's been long slept on by players for DPS or even ad clearing, and now that it has received some buffs and some exotics to support itself, I can see this becoming a fan favourite for those who want to embrace status more. Personally, I'm sold on this build, and generally, you should be too. So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on content shared then please leave a comment below, while you've enjoyed the content and want more of these videos then leave a like and a sub while you're here. A dim link for the build is located below in the pin section, and I do advise you to check out my playlist for more. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.